This video is the first in a, a series of videos where I'm going to cover the use of an S7 1500. Um, I has the have the 1500 uh, live up here, and basically it has a digital output uh, card and digital input um, card as well. Um, I'm going to cover uh, basically how to set up the um, the actual the hardware itself and uh, start a new program um, just as a, as a beginning. Okay, so I have a TIA open, and I basically I'm going to go off and I'm going to create a new project. So I'll just leave its name as as Project One. Just uh, there's no um, no need to change it. So I've created that project there, and this is exactly where it's going to go into that location into this particular pad on my C drive. Um, the the first initial steps after you've just created the new project um, is you go off and you select the, the components and you basically kind of bring them in. Um, the invite the uh, the TIA version I'm using is TIA version 17, but most versions of TIA will will follow basically the same steps. So if I hit open the project view there, um, after it's got ready. I, what we'll see here is that we have project one, that was the name, and we basically have nothing. Um, we've got no devices basically uh, inside here. So the first thing to do is just um, uh, select add new device. And it'll just load up. And basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm gonna add in first the particular um, CPU that's, that's basically there. So that pretty much means this particular guy right here, and at the very top, uh, you can see uh, right up here by this light, there's actually the model number uh, basically written down. Okay, uh, so I'll just go back to TIA there, and I'm gonna select the 1500 CPU, and then there's the particular model that's in that demo system then. Uh, this is his model number right here, and I happen to know that his version is actually 2.5 um, at the moment. So. I basically the uh, those details will be written often on the side. Now you can change firmware versions and so on, but that's basically you've got to find those details out yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to select OK, and I basically that's kind of like the main unit um, that that's that's going to be there, and then I'm going to add my uh, digital um, output and then my digital output or digital input cards, um, which are kind of on the uh, on the system as well. So that guy's just loading up there. Okay, so then in number two, you can see this guy here is called the rail at the back. I'm in slot number two. I basically I'm just going to go off and I'm going to get the particular uh, card that's relevant to me. And he is, yeah, that's the guy in particular. So I'm just going to select him and drag him across on number two. That's it. And he's a uh, version uh he's version one actually um for for what i have but it's it's uh, it's no big deal at all so i uh, then essentially what i'm going to do here is leave him at yeah just leave him at version one so that's fine and there we go so make sure that he's selected He's at version one, that's perfect. So that's what I needed. And then what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna bring a uh, digital input um, basically in. So I'm going to, actually I'm after bringing the wrong device in. It's, yep, I'm after bringing the wrong one over. So I'm gonna have to get rid of him. Just hit delete. There we go. And this was the guy I meant to bring over, yep. It's easy to do it. There we go. And to change this firmware version. And my guy is number one. That's perfect. So he's sitting at uh, version one. That's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to do my digital input. And my digital input then is, let me go off to the DI. And that guy is correct here, yeah. That's his model number. Bring him over to number three. Perfect, and his firmer version was actually version two. So there we go, version two, and select okay. Perfect, so now we're, we're, we're flying it. Okay, so then what I need to do then is if I come back, 
I'll just uh, open up my screen again. I actually have a power supply here on the side. I but I don't need to bring him in. He's he's optional. This particular guy here is a seam and switch. He's not included. We don't need to bring him in at all. Just need to focus on these particular three here. That's all. Okay. So um, then, what I'll do is. I, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to give him an IP address and he actually has a known IP address already. So I'm going to give him, um, give him that IP address there because I just happen to know that he happens to, um, uh, to have it. Okay, so I, I'm just going to go save the project. So he saved there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go off and I'm going to try go online. Okay. So I'm going to go try and reach out to him. And it is actually an existing program in that particular PLC, but it's no big deal. Um, we will go off and we'll do a search for him. So this particular the PG PC interface, that happens to be my Ethernet card. Right, that's that's basically it. So it's saying that it, it, it's we're able to find him. And then I'm just going to go go online. and he's found him but where it says orange here it means that the program is different the program is basically loaded okay so what i will do there is i'll go offline we'll make sure that i'm going to hit this compile button up here just compiling there is no program currently at the moment there whatsoever and basically this guy ob1 he's the main program but everything is empty at the moment i'm just going to go and i'm going to do a download And basically, it says, "Look, there's an awful lot gone wrong. There's an awful lot there that's that's different in a comparison between both." And I'll just go continue. So there we go. And here, basically, what we'll do is we'll just see that there's um, a, a series of options here. We're quite literally just going to stop everything, and um, we're just going to do a fresh download. That's basically it. So we'll just hit load, and it's basically going to wipe the program. Perfect. So then we'll just go to uh, finish. We we'll look at the, the PLC here. You can see that there's a kind of an orange green light coming on. And he is basically, he's after uh, having a, a kind of a fresh download there. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video there. And uh, basically in the, the next uh, video that, that I do, I'm going to just uh, initiate a, a digital output. And um, I'm going to a turn on and off one of these relays which is wired up to one of the digital outputs and then we'll follow it on then uh, basically we'll do a, a digital input uh, where there's some wiring which comes back into this digital input card here thank you very much